I know exactly what are you thinking right now. Who is this guy and what is this clickbait video? So, first of all, I'm Cyberslate. Nice to meet you. And second, this is not a clickbait video. Because I know for a fact that you are using Enigma the wrong way. Okay, technically, you're not using Enigma the wrong way. You're not using to the max potential. Enigma is a weapon you find on the Labyrinth after defeating the first world boss. It's an excellent weapon for mob clearing, but not so much for bossing. For now. But enough talking, let's show it. So, Enigma weapon mod does 25% additive damage for each rod stick in the target. And when you connect to another target, that damage is multiplied by 1.5. But let's test this so you can have a clear picture of what's coming. As you can see, shooting 7 rods, we can do 800 DPS and 13k total damage. Not surprising at all. So where is the good news? I'm going to show you how you can multiply that damage without using any extra amulet or ray. Right now, on your screen, I'm just showing you how you can multiply your damage with the power of geometry. You see? One big overlooked part from the Enigma weapon mod is that the damage comes not only from the rods itself, but also from the feathers between each rod. And those rods, they connect to each other individually. Bit confusing, let me explain. As you can see in the screen, those three rods that are in line, you would think that there's only one line or maybe two, but there's actually three different lines connected. One connected from the rod of the left to the one in the middle. One from the left to the other one all the way to the right. And the last one from the rod of the middle from the one of the right. So that means after the first three rods, every th rod that you connect to the ground it will multiply by two. You will have double the tethers connected, each one doing a fixed amount of damage. So let me show you again. Before we tested the conventional way, and we got around 800 DPS and 13k total damage with 7 rods. Let's see how much we can get with the new method. one7 k DPS and 23k total damage. We basically doubled our output. How this translates to a dedicated build? Well, I will show you right now. Because who else didn't know this before? And who else dropped 20 freaking DPS builds for this game? Papa Cyberslate. So I will please ask you to subscribe and give it a like if you are liking this video. And make sure to check out my previous one, I'm sure you will be surprised as well. Anyways, I'm going to show you my dedicated build for max potential on Enigma. Pretty cool, huh? This right here is a mod build, so of course we are going with Archon with Chaos Gate for some mod regen and 35% all damage when stacked. And since we need more raw power in the mod, my second archetype is Ritualist with Death Wish for a total of 75% on all damage. Both combined, 155% increased damage on the mod when both the skills are activated. Amulets and rings, we have Night Weaver's Grudge, Probability Court, although you can totally change, and I recommend it with a Akari Warband. Then we have Burden of the Gambler, Token of Favor, and last one, Stone of Malevolence. On our weapons, we have Failsafe for Enigma, Krellax with Tainted Blade, and Monolith for the thousand time with feedback. For Relic Fragments, you will take Elemental Damage, Mod Damage, and yes, 
fire rate. Because believe it or not, fire rate is what affects Enigma mod, not modcast. You can really bump up your damage output if you can lay the rods faster around the enemy. So rocket fuel is really good as well as a consumable, apart from the bottle shade berry that I recommend. Okay, now the real deal. Because one thing is to show your DPS on the dummy, but bosses are a totally different beast. My golden tip would be, shoot the rods where the boss and enemy would be passing through. And to be honest, that happens to be in front of you most of the times, because the enemy will attack you, so they will come closer to you. So if you want to make the most of the connections possible on his feet or in front of you, both mix, but you need to be smart about it, alright? And of course, I don't think I need to say it, but I will say it anyway. This method of using Enigma doesn't work well on flying bosses. Bosses like Annihilation, Corruptor, or even Mothermind. So don't even try it. You can try it, but you have been warned. One good option though, but very very limited, is using Pressure Point Mutator on Enigma. It works really well, but be mindful that you will need to be really close to the enemy. So you're sacrificing some security with some more output damage. Do as you wish. In conclusion, I would like to say one last thing. Enigma weapon mod was never touched for a long time. So yes, if they end up nerfing this weapon, now you know why.